Good morning. You join us today at the Highland Clearance Village of Arachonin near Loch Ilpid in uh, Argyll. And there's been a settlement here since about 1600 where the people eked out a living fishing, raising cattle, growing crops, grains and later potatoes. But the actual village gained its notoriety in 1848. Just behind me you can see a building with little triangular windows. This was actually a barn and the lintel above the door has the date of 1833 which was when the barn was built. And the reason it's got the little triangular windows was allow, to allow the wind to blow through the barn and take away all the chaff from the grain. So anyway, in 1841, a guy, Neil Malcolm of uh, Poltalich, bought the lands of Arachon and also Kilmory nearby. And on the 4th of April, 1848, he issued eviction notices to four of the tenants of this village and gave them until Whit Sunday, the 27th of May, to vacate the premises and they refused. So eventually on the 13th of June the sheriffs came in to try and forcibly evict them but the people fought back and it wasn't just the people from this village it was also from Kilmory and Cairnban all the local areas because they obviously saw what was happening and thought the same thing's going to happen to us and they were getting the, the, there was an angry crowd of about 100 people were throwing sticks and stones at the police and they went away and they came back again on the 7th of July with 30 enforcement officers. But by this time the crowd was now about 200 and they followed the police because the police arrested five of the ringleaders. And this angry mob followed the police, threatening them, harassing them, throwing stones. And it's documented, you know, certain constables had cuts their heads and things like that where they got hit. And the ringleaders were actually jailed in Inverary Jail, which is about uh, 25, 30 miles up the coast and ultimately the village was cleared. But it's a fantastic little walk. You can bring the kids, a super place for a picnic. It says not to go in the buildings because it's unstable masonry, um, which kind of makes me laugh a bit because I mean, this one here has been standing almost 200 years and it still looks fairly solid to me. However, take advice and say don't really go in, don't let the kids climb over it for sure. But come and have a wee look at it, it's fantastic. I think that was pens in front, a bit right in front of you, we think it was cattle, probably sheep pens. It's just a basic, it's a low wall, um, clearly was not a, a building. But the buildings still have fireplaces now, and again it's dry steam dikes, you know, just putting bricks on top of each other. Although some of the structures do have kind of cement in between them, the, the bricks, but... There's no more sheep here anymore. Just the wind haunts the place. So yeah, nice easy walk, bring the kids and uh, beautiful, beautiful wee place. Have a nice day.